Hey everybody. So as you know, I'm in the process of selling my collection and this has been going pretty well. And um, the other day, last week, I had a, a fellow collector who has purchased some of my items um, reach out to me to ask if I'd be interested in a trade for two signed Joe Hill Limiteds from my collection for a very, very interesting and unique item from their collection. And this is an item that I've had in my possession at one time in the past. It was sealed when I received it. I kept it sealed and I sold it on without opening it. So this one is open. Um, it has been opened and it's, it's not still sealed in plastic, which is a really good thing. Um, so that when I do this unboxing, I can show it to you and I don't have to feel feel weird or concerned about opening the plastic for the first time in, um, in ever. So anyway, we'll ship medium mail and I've been shipping a lot of things medium mail recently, multiple books in one box. And so far I've not had anything be more expensive than this single book. This costs $14.42. My arm is already shaking from holding it up. The box weighs 14 pounds, 3.6 ounces. Dear God, let us, the seasoned Stephen King collectors probably already know what this is. What single item would be that freaking heavy? Let me get open the box. Nice, very nice. Got some styrofoam padding, which I really appreciate. And since I'm selling books and packing books like crazy, I'm gonna keep all of this, all of this interior material. Uh, insert, informational insert that comes with the book. This book was $295 list price when it was new. And, oh! It is, no joke, as big as the box. Oh my lord. Okay. Get that box out of the way. Here it is. Oh my goodness. Oh my. oh my lord. That is Kali Crazy Sheriff Kali Intrigian from the Grant Sign Limited of Desperation. There's a couple of little blemishes on the case there. But this case, this is cloth. This is printed on cloth. And then this side is the Signet paperback cover art for the original release of The Stand. Man, this thing is big. <laughs> so we take it out of the slip case, and what we have is a book called Knowing Darkness. And it is all about the art that is featured, has been featured in Stephen King books over the years. Oh man. So I'm gonna just do my darndest to hold this thing up without messing it up. I don't know if you can tell, but on this page, the famous Signet paperback of Salem's Lot, that is nothing but darkness with the impression of the vampire's face and the single red drop of blood. All right, Knowing Darkness, artists inspired by Stephen King from Centipede Press, essays by George Beam, introduction by Frank Darabont. Darabont, Darabont? This book is, let's see, what year did this book come out? It's 11 by 15 inches. 448 pages, hardbound with sewn signatures. So let me, oof, let me see if I can 
Copyright 2009. And this, I mean, it's got featured sections on different artists. Any number of reading ribbons to mark your place. What's really exciting to me about this Oh gosh, I can't even hold it up. Let me see if I can change the angle here. Okay, I had to improvise a little because this book is just too damn big to be able to show you the inside without improvising a little bit, so. Introduction by Frank Darebont. I believe, so it, it includes hardcovers, paperbacks, movie tie-ins, as well as the signed limiteds that have come out. Creepshow. So there are features for different artists. Don Brodigan shows the works that he has created. Paperback of the Drawing of the Three, that one stands out to me. The legendary Night Shift Signet paperback. Oh man, Running Man, gotta love it, Dark Half. Cool. I actually don't know. I don't know which book that's from, but here's the Grant cover of Christine. Now I gotta find out. What book is that from? Anyway. Yeah, all kinds of stuff. The photographs from Skeleton Crew, the signed limited edition from Scream Press. Wow. So some of these books, there's the cover art for that one, so cool. Some of these books I've never actually seen in person. So having the artwork in this one place is really cool. Phil Hale. His style, I'm not such a big fan of. But, anyway, well, you get the gist. Just page after page. Here's some Cycle of the Werewolf. It's all this artwork, text throughout about the artwork. 2009, so obviously it's it leaves out some pretty interesting and important stuff. For instance, the um, 25th anniversary edition of It, released by Cemetery Dance, that wouldn't be in here. But some artwork from The Shining. Ah, the regulators. Very cool. Anyway, you get the idea, but holy crap, what a book. 11 inches by 15 inches. Ooh. So I'm going to put this guy back in its slipcase, and I'll be right back with you. Whew. I'm all red in the face and sweaty just from hefting this book and trying to show it to you I don't so you could argue <laughs> that this book is too big for its own good that it's impractical but I definitely feel like that's part of the point and part of the appeal and the charm and the artwork is rendered just beautifully in this book so anyway 
if you're in the market for just the biggest, heaviest book that you're ever likely to see, and you love the artwork from Stephen King books um, from, gosh, 74 through, I guess, 2009, then Knowing Darkness is definitely something that you're going to want to look up from Centipede Press. So, whew. anyway, thank you very much um, to my friend Drew for suggesting and requesting the trade. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's nice to be able to see this book in person again and actually crack it open and enjoy it. And to all of you, thank you as always for your viewership and your support. And until next time, take care of yourselves. I will talk to you later. Bye.